Swing low, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels come after me. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. Tell all my friends I'm coming to, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, swing low, sweet chair. For to carry me home, sweet love, sweet love, sweet chariot, coming for to carry. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet. For to carry me, swing low, sweet chariot, swing low, sweet chariot, swing low, sweet chariot, swing low. You've just heard from four of my dear young friends who come to us all the way from the great metropolis of São Paulo in the country of Brazil. They are called the Ministry Quartet, appropriately so, because all four of them are ordained ministers of the gospel. This is Jefferson Tavares. He sings the baritone in the quartet. Next to him, Pastor Erlo Brown, who is the second bass. Yes. And next to him, Paulo Reis, who sings first tenor. And, of course, Joshua Castro, who sings the second tenor. You'll be hearing more from them in today's program because we will share with you some of the exciting things that are happening down in South America. It has stood the test of time. God's book, the Bible, still relevant in today's complex world. It is written, founded by George Vanderman sharing messages of hope around the world. Today, Henry Fire Robin presents Good News from Brazil. Large crowds in Brazil. All of this is a part of the worldwide It Is Written ministry. The It Is Written telecast is seen in thousands of cities around the world. Early in my ministry, the year 1958 to be exact, I became involved with the work in Brazil. The Portuguese language became my second language, and ever since that, I've been involved with the media in Brazil and in Portugal. Today, it's my privilege to have with me some of my Brazilian friends with whom I work on a regular basis. As I have visited scores of congregations in Brazil, the man who has been my gracious host is Pastor Erlo Brown. We have a few things in common. 
both of us have been members of the King's Herald's Brazilian Quartet, with two clear-cut differences, of course. <laughs> I was a member of the first formation of the group. Pastor Brown appeared on the scene many years after I had left. In the second place, I sang the high tenor while he sang second bass. Erlo Brown, it's nice to have you here. Tell us a little bit about the experience that you had in Brazil during the days that you were a member of the King's Herald Quartet and later a manager of the Media Center in Brazil. Pastor, thank you for the uh, invitation to be with you today. And I wish to remind you, Pastor, that the very year you began to sing in the quartet was the year which I was born. Uh, very interesting. Now, you forgot to mention that we have more in common than just the voice of prophecy. Uh, since we are both singers, we both need to have a very good respiratory system to be able to sing. Now, speaking of the experience you referred to in regard to the quartet, the quartet was always an inspiration, as far back as I can remember. I enjoyed listening to what was available in those days. It was you singing for the first formation of the quartet, songs like I'll Be There in the Morning, Heavenly Music, and I grew up hearing this type of music. To me, it was great pleasure a few years later to be able to work with the Voice of Prophecy. In our experience in Brazil, something very important that marked the story of evangelism took place in 1991, I believe, when you came to Brazil with Pastor George Vandeman, bringing Brazil the possibility of having the program It Is Written in our country. Uh, do you remember? <laughs> And, Pastor, this was a great turning point for Brazil. When the program began 11 years ago, it was on the station known as Bandeirantes and was transmitted on a network covering close to 93% of all of the territory of Brazil. Uh, we had a wonderful experience in the year 2000. You came and visited me in Canada and asked me if I would come just tell the folks a little bit about that project. We called it Hope for 2000, I believe. Yes, uh, Pastor, this matter of using satellite transmission is very impressive, giving us the possibility of talking to thousands of people at the same time. And later, in 1998, I contacted you and asked, uh, Pastor Feyerabend, what are the possibilities of you coming to Brazil to help us present a unique type of evangelism? In my mind, I was considering the use of satellite systems the churches had put in place for the preaching of the gospel. Your response was, Erlo, maybe I could come in 1999. I talked to the president of my conference at that time. I was pastor of a church in Totupe in the eastern part of the city of Sao Paulo. He said, that's a marvelous idea, and Pastor Feyerabend is well-known and appreciated throughout Brazil. Let's wait a little and plan the event for the end of the year. Later, he spoke to the president of the Central Brazil Union, who said, no, let's not do this now. Let's wait a little so that we can include our union conference, which includes eight Brazilian states, so that all can participate simultaneously by satellite. And so this project that we originally planned for 1998, uh, then delayed until 99, became a project that covered practically all of Brazil. Everywhere there were churches with these satellite dishes tuned into the huge series of meetings that uh, you were able to conduct in the year 2000. And in reality, this was a significant landmark in the history of evangelism in Brazil. Brazil, as you know, is a country that is very different from the USA or Canada. Its people have a strong disposition for religion and spiritual matters and I believe that God used these meetings in a very special way. In our field alone, the eastern corner of the city of Sao Paulo, we counted more than 2,000 people who accepted the gospel message as you opened the Word of God, showing the plan of God for their life, and Brazil has an eternal debt of gratitude to you for your willingness to come to Brazil and uh, for presenting the gospel in such a unique 
and in an interesting manner. It was a real privilege for me. I enjoyed it very much. And one of the things I enjoyed in that series was working with the Ministry Quartet. Yeah. And one of the favorite songs you sang was a song about home. I wonder, would you sing that for us? Why don't you join your companions here and, and present the song about the home that I liked so much? Pastor, this music is very special because it reminds each of us that a home is not just windows, walls and doors, but it is a much better place, a place where Jesus went to prepare. And when we begin to sing this song, our hearts burn with the joy and hope in the return of our Lord. And I would like to invite my friends to uh, sing this song for you now. I hope that you can think about this warmth that he was talking about and this beautiful subject about the eternal home. It's one of my favorite subjects. So listen now as the Ministry Quartet sings Home. Home is where the heart is My heart's home, home Though I never really had one to call my own I've been given the key by the carpenter of Galilee But in trust paid the titles made to I'll see when my journey's over. I am going home. Everybody dreams of going home, it seems lately I am no exception. smiling face he is waiting you oh, where there is no night home where the sun is the light the place I've been dreaming of so long love one stand will be the first I'll see when my journey's over I am going home home where there is no light home where the sun is the light the place I've been dreaming of so First I'll see when my journey's over I am going home When my journey's over I am going home 
Joining us today is the director speaker of the It Is Written program in Brazil, Fernando Iglesias. He's well known in South America. He was also a member of the famous King's Herald's Quartet and later became a recording artist and he has produced many CDs that are widely distributed in Brazil. Fernando Iglesias, please tell us a little about your work in Brazil. First of all, it's a great pleasure to be here with you on this telecast and be in the midst of the wonderful people of Canada and share with you a little about our work. First of all, I come from a large country called Brazil in uh, South America, a territory that has um, 160 million people. We have a well-developed industry. Our financial condition is becoming more and more stable. And Brazil has found its place in the international field. We have a great mission here in a uh, large country with an extensive population of cheerful people and big cities that are well developed like Sao Paulo, our uh, largest cities with 18 million inhabitants, which gives us a great challenge to preach the gospel to people like all human beings who uh, need Jesus. My work in It Is Written started a short time ago. I started five months ago, and now this week I recorded my first ten programs that will be on the air in Brazil. It Is Written, as Pastor Erlo Braun has just stated, has been in Brazil 11 years. Pastor George Vandeman, Pastor Mark Finley, and Pastor Alejandro Bouillon, and now I am inheriting this marvelous heritage. And it is a great joy to minister on It Is Written. It is also a uh, big responsibility to preach on television. We are preparing to reach the multitudes on television and personally with evangelistic campaigns, a series of meetings conducted in Brazil, videotaped and sent by satellite transmission to uh, churches and homes. Our program reaches all of Brazil, especially in large cities. Uh, just to give you an idea, five of the largest cities in Brazil, uh, São Paulo, Rio de Janeiro, Belo Horizonte, Fortaleza and Recife, contain close to 60% of the population of Brazil. This is uh, a peculiarity of our country, uh, this concentration of large parts of the population. Today, it is written is reaching people in the great capitals, reaching the higher class as well as the common people. We've had marvelous experiences. I recall that I was still singing in the quartet. Uh, we provided the music for the uh, very first uh, telecasts that were being produced in Brazil by Pastor George Vandeman. A letter that we uh, received attracted a lot of attention. It was uh, from a lawyer who on a certain night uh, reported that he was fighting with his wife. They were facing uh, serious personal conflicts and uh, in this letter he said, uh, we were arguing, uh, walking from one part of the house to the other. I would go to the kitchen and she would follow me and we argued. And I was tired of arguing. Finally, I went to the bedroom and when I got there, I didn't want to hear my wife talking anymore. I was angry and I turned on the television in the bedroom. Um, that night, the station that uh, transmitted our program uh, 
was sending the telecast to other stations that would capture the program uh, to be transmitted later. Even though it wasn't the regular time for the program, it was being transmitted to repeater stations. He continued in his letter, when I tuned in George Vandeman, uh, he was speaking, and his theme was true love at the Taj Mahal, which was one of Pastor Vandeman's uh, program themes. When my wife came to argue with me, I, I told her, you know, sit down on the bed uh, and we will sit and watch the TV. And uh, we began to listen to the message and it touched us deeply. His letter goes on to say, our life was never the same after hearing this message. We were reconciled uh, one to another and I'm writing to thank you for this marvelous ministry. We've had some marvelous stories of conversion. Um, we depend on translators to translate the message into our language. And uh, while the speaker spoke in English, the translator narrated the message in our language. The first person that worked with the translation, a professional in the area of communications, um, as he worked on the translation of the messages, God touched his heart, and he was the first uh, of the converts to be baptized, giving his heart to Jesus through the uh, It Is Written telecast. And today we have a very active ministry um, with our Bible school, which graduates uh, between 11 and 12,000 students per year. Uh, that's uh, those who actually complete the course. And uh, we also send out 30 to 35,000 printed sermons uh, to those who request them uh, as a result of watching the program uh, every year. We have a very large audience that watches our telecast, and it, um, it is, uh, gives us great pleasure to prepare these telecasts and be part of this ministry. And, and we ask that you continue to pray for our ministry as we also pray for yours. Thank you, Pastor Fernando. This is really wonderful to see how God is working around the world. But I'd like to hear from the quartet once more. As you have noticed, their first language isn't English, and most of their songs are done in the Portuguese language, but they do a uh, spiritual that I enjoy, Look Away to Heaven. So let's hear the ministry quartet singing, Now Look Away to Heaven. When I get to heaven, going to sing and shout, there's nobody there to turn me out. When I get to heaven, going to put on my shoes, I go on the wall. going to walk around and tell good news. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Oh yes, I hope I join the band. Say the like a snake lying in the grass Always waiting in those Christian spans Satan is the liar and the conjurer too If you don't watch out, he'll conjure you Now look away Now look away to heaven Now look away Now look away to heaven Now look away Now look away to heaven. Oh yes, I hope I join the band. When I get to heaven, going to sing and shout. There's nobody there to turn me out. When I get to heaven, going to Oh, yes. 
Yes, I hope I join the band. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Now look away. Now look away to heaven. Oh yes, I hope I join the band. Join the band. Oh yes, I hope, hope I join the band. Let me tell you about an exciting resource I think you'll appreciate as you seek to be a more effective ambassador for Christ. The Discover Bible course has given thousands of people an opportunity to understand the Bible more deeply and find a richer relationship with Jesus Christ. I've met scores of people who have told me that this free course has literally changed their lives. No matter what your previous exposure to the Bible, no matter how long you've either been a Christian or for that matter not been one, I think you'll really benefit from this course. It's absolutely free and I know you'll be pleased. So why not give it a try? Here's the information you need to get your first lesson. As a convenience, you may request today's free gift offer by calling our toll-free number at 1-800-253-3000. Call right now, 1-800-253-3000. Remember your gift is sent free and postpaid. You may have to dial the number more than once, but please keep trying. The operator needs only your name, address, and phone number and the name of the gift you're requesting. Call toll-free from anywhere in North America, 1-800-253-3000. Lines are open 24 hours daily. Or, if you prefer, you may request the offer by writing to It Is Written, Box 2010, Oshawa, Ontario, L1H7V4. And thank you for your letters, your prayer requests, and your generous financial support. Write It Is Written, Box 2010, Oshawa, Ontario, L1H7V4. Thank you so much, friends, from the Ministry Quartet and Pastor Fernando Iglesias for coming all the way from Brazil to be with us in Canada. And now the time has come to say goodbye for another week. Be with us again next week at the same time. And until then, remember, it is written... Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Poverty is a life of difficulty today with no security for tomorrow. It is a life without hope, without potential, without a future. Adra Canada is an agency that is working in some of the poorest nations of the world, helping people break free from poverty. To help Adra in this important work, please give generously to the Adra Annual Appeal.